five animal parts. Oh, the University of Cornbra. Seeing the success of neighboring Solomon, some of the people, the people of Cornbra, have decided to institute their own center of higher learning. New wave, it seems. Well, meanwhile, in this coming November. You gave me a book of nothing. Because I have so many damn books. Yeah, this coming November I will switch my focus to, uh... Switch to... Sheesh. Yeah, I'm sure you can all convert the rest along the way. Yeah, I think you can manage. Just hunt for apostates because we know there's a bunch of people who are members of some secret society that we need to start uh, putting them in dungeons or burning them in the snake. That's what we gotta do. Go running. I no longer feel fear. I've become brave. Died of depression. Yeah, don't give me that. That reminds me. Just out of my own curiosity. Which I doubt there's any of them around. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for a person, but unfortunately there isn't really uh, a <laughs> Zoroastrian Persian. <laughs> Sammy Sammy. That's your name. You are Sammy Sammy. Plus, it's pronounced Sami, not Sami. Because that's the Sami people up in northern Scandinavia. Oh, hell. Uh huh. Gotcha. Just curious. Spending on that. Remember how Split got depopulated? Don't want that to happen again. Because we want it to be our other rich county, just like Zadar. Destroyed a duchy title of Angeopolis? What the hell's the matter of you? 
You going nuts or something? Was it because you don't control that part anymore? Aha! Uh -huh. So now we know the name of the secret society that is of Sunni Islam. It's called the Islamic Brotherhood. Not to be confused with the Muslim Brotherhood. Let's not get into that. I wonder if burning him would give me the Kinslayer trait. I mean, he's my uncle. He's an infirm. I'm gonna get pin slayer trait for this, am I? Oh, uh, he's talking to Oh, shit. Well, shit. Now I'm known as the daughter of Angra Mainu. Again, uh, again, this hurts the dynasty opinion. I mean, if you people over there didn't like it, then then you didn't like it. And of course, you wouldn't marry it. You plan on marrying your own know, child because you was nuts. So yeah, be careful with the kin slaying. So, uh, feast anyone? Just one more day. Now you can change the focus. Build an observatory after the feast. Oh, what a way to kick off this episode. <laughs> Now we know what this Empress is going to be like. She's going to be a terrible person. Not as terrible as... I don't know. The nickname Daughter of Angra Mainu is because of the Kinslian. Can build that observatory. Out there, what's going on over there? Oh, hey, the court position. I didn't know you're a member of the Medic Society. Okay, he's not, but we're just apparently good friends. Oh yeah, I'll definitely help you on this one. Because you got all sorts of problems there. Bring out the cavalry. We'll be there in no time. Again. Daughter of Angra Mainu. <laughs> That's what they uh, call me. It's because I burnt my uncle with the stake because... This guy was an apostate. And yet you call me a kinslayer, you hypocrites.
cannot believe I became the first ruler of the Sunil Tovich dynasty to be called a Kinslayer. But over time, you'll get over it. <laughs> it was just, well, you did what you did. I have more virtues than sin, so... Not an intentionally bad ruler. I wasn't going for that. Not at all. I was more just trying to, uh... Oh, <sighs> so too soon. No longer humble. Chinese Civil War has come to an abrupt end. Yin Zong uh, uh, Board Jin uh, utterly crushed the remaining rebel army in, uh, in Chang'an, ending the long years of confusing warfare and shifting alliances between loyalists, rabble-rousing monks, dynastic pretenders, and an overly ambitious governor. Things are slowly returning to the noble in the uh, Middle Kingdom and the Silk Road is safe again. Once it's all over, maybe I'll go over there and, uh, I'll go over there and cut out before the Emperor. <laughs> Recent events, uh, in the U.S. Empire has caused various royal facts to rise up around the Middle Kingdom. One of them was led by, uh, Wu Yu, in charge of the Katian tribe, descending upon the western mountains. Wherever he goes, the countryside is left ablaze. Throughout the region, people are praying for someone to deal with the hostile raiders. How unsettling. Still stable, nonetheless. Keep paying money. Keep going. One more. Take head it, prode. doing I'm brave so prove yourself to be brave be brave and don't be a puss Getting rid of all those ingredients. No, no, no. Find a hermetic text. Ooh, I like those chances. Karo and Gondwanda. That's far away. Um. I spent many nights looking at the stars in my observatory. It's truly fascinating. There's so many questions to ask. Typically, I do this route, but since I want to be mystic, you have to go to this route. Is there something strange out there?
After we do the revolt tour, then I'm going to China. Tributary. Hold. Just a little shiver. Again, the reason why I'm a member of the Hermetic Societies in the first place is because I have a awfully high learning skill and, uh, well, you gotta put it to use. So that's why I'm doing all that. Any place of a bad revolt risk? No, everything's fine, so... What's the centermost area of the Empire? Oh yeah, just be in Constantinople. Just go to there. And speaking of going, I'm gone. I'm, uh... What do you mean, healthy enough? Oh, pregnant. Apparently I can't go to China while pregnant. Is it really? Oh. not get anyone else involved in this highly personal work. Well, brew me a potion. Liver and kidney. Observing the stars at night, I've begun to sense some irregular movements. I also noticed that some of the stars seem to appear and disappear at odd times. I need to study this more. That star there disappears when I directly, uh, when I look directly at it. What the hell? Yeah, the guy will stress trait. It would have been either that or the garden. Plus I'm paranoid. I have the paranoia trait. Paranoid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Huge money on this. There we go. A mirror of Cairo, and it's gonna go to the Greek. That just came to me in my thoughts. Kingdom of Sicily. Ah, oh, you and the kingdoms. Okay, Count Castle. She actually runs the county. Hardly suspicious and wounded. Oh, burn him too. We really gotta get rid of those members of the uh, that damn society. I did say youngest uh, of uh, succession all there. A 
plus, I never thought I would see the name Daughter of Angra Mainu there. <laughs> Just hold on, give me a minute, I got a name. It just like uh, you know that other hills up from back a ways there, and then when I play as that character, it'll be no coincidence that this is anything to have to do with hills of Bros Tito. <laughs> Day after day, night after night, I cannot help but notice when my husband appears to be finding the burns are like too much to handle. He often wakes up at night in cold sweat or weeps um, inconsolably when he thinks. Nobody's watching. I feel they need help, so my husband could use some soothing words. A session of grooming uh, my husband were read while speaking of life about his problems is born fruit. After voicing his problems last night, appears to be uh, much happier now. The research I conduct in my observatory at night is proving deeply fascinating. I could push the studies further, but I need to purchase more equipment to be meaningful. Get me more equipment I need to move forward. Oh yes, my cousin, Carlo the Witch Hunter. Not lustful, so no, it's not appropriate. It's too bad none of the children were born quick, but I'm fine with having the youngest to be the next ruler. Which is a part of the reason why I said I really gotta fix that succession of ridiculousness. Observe the sky. Hey, since I'm no longer pregnant anymore, I could finally go to China. Let's get going. Now I'm multitasking, looking at the stars while I'm traveling. And it's the King of Bohemia, the Russian King of Bohemia, that'll be the regent. French Revolt. No, too busy. Adjusting my new uh, sextant, uh, I would just spot it what looked like a shooting star when there's a faint knock on the door. Opening it, I find my son step on, fidgeting nervously. As he speaks, Mother, I can't sleep. Um. Don't fret, child, I'll make you some bravo from liver. Keep going. It's not related to the what I'm looking up in that observatory. Mongol man. His name is Daya. What you got there? Go on tapestry. Didn't we have something like that? 
we go. Tapestry, tapestry. Tapestry. No? This is a different one. Uh, yeah. Give me that. It activates itself. That'll help uh, reduce the short rain years. I'll be more respected. Now the Ratomir too. Here, have some snout. Do the same. It'll make it even more easier to find some more pastets and keep okay, burning with the snake. I don't care if it's my can. Understand so much. Okay. I find myself um, almost buried under an enormous heap of documents. Occupying a work desk, which I've carefully studied, yet uh, there is still an absence of any observation about specific uh, light in the sky between two unknown star formations. Let me see. I'll name it after my dear friend Hussein. I mean, he's a pretty good guy. See? He's a mystic and I want to be like him. I'll name it after him. A star named Hussein. As the days drag on, I find myself thinking back to Zin. Wondering what's happening to Palace and how is Prince Joseph pairing without me there? When I can return home to him, when my journey to the king is in. Huh. Halt, my son needs, to, needs a letter from me. And yet the opinion increases. <laughs> Write a letter with my thoughts and well wishes to my newborn. Just make a drawing of... Uh, make a doodle or something. He'll, he'll understand. What kind of helmet is that? Persian. But highly of martial skill. Guess that's what it look like when they're super high on martial skill on that particular culture. It up. Oh. And I don't know if I'm progressing anything at all on the uh, observatory. But I guess you can't do that when you're away to China. Oh yes, the twins. Ranamir and Ratamir. Both of you get a martial education regardless how well you two did or lack thereof. Structures, damn it. Oh, 
The rider approached the caravan and handed me the letter with the seal of Thakur um, Kumarapala of Kashmir. Um, Kumarapala has heard of my travels and invites a party to rest on the wharf of the castle uh, of Sangar. A warm bed and a hot meal is most welcome. A warm heart and healthy meals uh, invigorated the whole company. After enjoying the hospitality of a Thakur um, Kumarapala for some days, uh, it's now time to get on. We're moving on a path towards the UN Empire again. Thank you for being an excellent host. Oh, and did I mention I'm the daughter of Angra Mainu somehow? Because I burnt my uncle at the stake and they call me a kinslayer. It didn't send shockwaves throughout the whole empire. Bingo. Run that first too. Just burn anybody that you see. I'm trying to reduce the numbers of their society. Because it seems these guys breed like rabbits when it comes to joining members. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's of your dynasty. Well, uh, just put her in a dungeon instead. Yeah, hold the brakes. When you see last name Sanula Tovich, don't burn them. You don't want to get the third tier of Kinslayer. But that's not really close. Very close to my dynasty. No. At least we hired a new Mobad, which says he's 100% guaranteed that he will uh, find a. An apostate out there. Um, at court today, I'm delighted to hear the ballad uh, recited praising my brave deeds in battle and during the recent war. Everyone applauds its conclusion. Everyone except Mayor Boris of Split, that is. Instead, it says, um, <coughs> Well, you might all be impressed that the Empress uh, seems tent on an early death. But those two of us who care for the Croatia. I'm more concerned about the chaos that would follow such an event. With Croatia left hands of a child, the Empress, a hero, pa, a an glorious fool like all her. Just downplayed it, so perhaps I am, Air Wars, but a brave fool nonetheless. I want to become rivals, that guy. Baron Mukhtar the Holy. He's been branded a pasta, but yet doesn't say sympathy for Islam. Well, he's uh, zealous. Authority highly suspicious. Hey, you got any good stuff? Nope. Burn him. Again. I don't care who. As long as last name Sanula Tovich is not in it. I don't care who you are, where you come from. We're just trying to stop the spread of the secret society. And we, we don't want that day to happen when all of us become Muslims. And maybe as one would be deprived of those rights. Except for the full size room, just not the rulership of it. That's the problem. Not to mention that we're trying to eventually get to Persia and restore Zoroastrianism eventually for good. I don't know if it'll ever happen in this playthrough. Alright, we arrived in China. Oh hell, what have you done? 13,000 against 35,000. Holy crap! Get to that. Right. 
God damn, pal. What are you doing? You're releasing uh, plastic. I don't know. I wasn't thinking straight. Money came first. Oh, you idiot. Not Constantinople. Zadar, you fools. not my air. But I'll tell you what he is. He's going to be in that academy. We gotta put his learning skill to good use. I'm on a walk in a beautiful park uh, in the middle kingdom when I spot a group of people intensely focused, scattered around the square board with circular pieces of black and white. Um, how do you play this game? And I want some money. Now that guy, not a member of the Islamic Brotherhood, but rather Lucifer's own. A devil worshipper. Burn him! They're just as bad. reason why you should call me daughter of Angra Mainu. I burn people. Who takes center flank? Oh, fool. Fuck. to hear more of that political philosophy. Oh, this is risky. Oh, we can take on armies twice the size now. for the job.
Okay, that's tier two on the Koto. So I'm back. <sighs> the studies I conduct in my observatory have convinced me there are many strange things um, beyond the known cosmos. There are a few sources and no one to share knowledge of me. However, I heard of a strange old scholar in the Arabian desert who was rumored to possess vast knowledge of the world. I can go see him. Okay, get ready for uh, number three. Alright. Ah, jeez. A crusade for Italy. Well, we gotta save these Italians, you know. So don't, uh, you know, get our armies out. You know, go home just yet. At least it isn't us, but rather we gotta save our friends because we're taking advantage of a revolt. The cheaters. Necronomicon. I arrive at the abode of the strange old scholar Abraham. After some persuasion, he invites me in. I speak at length, and he tells me of the scholar Abdul the Mad, who knew many things of the strange spheres beyond and of talking things that are not human. I found out that Abdul the Mad wrote the book called the Necronomicon, in which he recorded many strange and unholy truths. Abraham says that he has impressed them. Um, for my sincerity and desire for knowledge, um, he could sell me a copy of the book. He tells me to beware, however, as too much intense study of the Necronomicon is said to drive the reader insane. Yes, I must have it. Come on, finish this damn war. Suspense of body of soul. What is that? A book? I know that one. I know what that does. Oh, there it is. Hey, another health book. The Persian polymath Abu Sayyid al Baki. He's the first to successfully uh, discuss diseases related to the body and the soul, giving great attention to mental health. Yeah, I may, may need some of that mental health when I get to read this shit. It ain't gonna hurt the piety too much. Italy, you're gonna need my help, and you're gonna get it by golly. What for? What are you doing with that? You're gonna be at war again. Feel of any way we can.
No more highway robbers in my capital county. troops in the defense of Italy. Just trying to figure all that out. It's our smallest number. Okay, if that one goes up there. Observatory, I'm often disturbed by strange noises. I encounter like large insects carrying away smaller pieces of equipment and odd human like figures spying on me and disappearing into the night before I can confront them. I really struggle to maintain con concentration to get anything done. I must focus. Focus, damn it! Like the accursed of Crimea. Do what you gotta do. Well done, the crusade is over. Now we gotta help Italy once more during their war against the Holy Roman Empire. How are you doing in that war? Are you winning or losing? You're losing, okay. These two armies will stay there. They'll be our backup, so to speak. to go. Just a bundle of hides. Started it all is is from where? Well, let's take it to his place and go kick his ass. And you're coming over there too. I 
second book I bought uh, from a strange desert scholar has proven quite useful for getting new ideas and insights in my studies of the stars and what lies beyond. It does, however, contain some quite disturbing text and images, things that lead toward a level of understanding that might make one uh, mad. I must delve deeper. I mean, look at that. 200 cultural points. And I'm not a lunatic. I don't need to be. Have to do all the fighting now. Sometimes it's easier to lie than to hurt people with the truth. Honesty can hurt. Yeah, you can have Sylvia on the trope. I don't want her in my country because she's a secret Muslim now. Or potentially. You hear me? Keyword secret. Yep, we come all the way down to Spain just to get to that county. Yeah, that's one of his masses. So we can end this holy war, and we can go home and close the damn episode. Romance of Troy. That's a pretty old book, you know, talking stuff about Troy. Ah, the Romance of Troy is a poem by French poet um, Benoit de Saint Marie. Uh, it is written as a medieval retelling of the epic theme of the Trojan War. It inspired a genre of ancient uh, romances and served a moral purpose as a mirror to princes. Fascinating. That's what my brother would say. My real life brother. Great wisdom comes of those who study the world uh, and, and learn from it. My studies of stars and other things beyond this world have taken me on very strange paths, and my learning has increased uh, immeasurably since I've started. The stars are right. There we go, war's over. Get the hell out of here. Endorse your paper. My husband. Well, I'm gonna put. Well, I'm gonna hurt you with the branding iron just to see how you uh, like it. Conquest of the Lands. That's in my book. I really got to distribute these books somewhere. Sometimes it's a little too much. There's always China. Rise of the Shia. In Seljuk. Khaganate. Oh, they're taking advantage of a revolt. Oh my goodness. A Turkish Shia Muslim. 
Well, that's that's different. While I'm certainly a great scholar of fine discoveries to my name, I'm not too proud to collaborate with like-minded colleagues. I've uh, contemplated housing some of my colleagues from the Hermetic Society for an intellectual gathering. Come on, get around, everybody. Alright, the honored guests. We got Henrico, Koloman, Kafnai, Radoslav, uh, Vododar, Lovro, and Urban. You had the kind of mistake of your generous invitation. A gathering of great minds. Such a fine idea. However, one small suggestion. I'd be delighted if you invited initiate uh, Kavnai. His indisputable brilliance will be a fine addition to our gathering. If you insist, brother, you may come along. Okay, we'll infiltrate. <laughs> Apparently doing double duty. <laughs> Here's some eyeballs in that potion. Double duty. Uh, finally, my guests are here. After a pleasant dinner, we have retired to my study during the uh, coming weeks. My guests and I have agreed to work uh, on a common project. Our joint ingenuity uh, shall bring about a brilliant new invention. The time is coming to reveal the direction for our enterprise. The noblest purpose is to further our understanding of the universe. Suggest a project of a scholarly focus. As I look around the table, everyone nods in agreement. A fine suggestion, dear sister, uh, Neophyte Lovrog exclaims, a wide smile on his uh, pale face of our features. Uh, not that pale. Tomorrow we shall begin to work on a project the first thing at the sun is. Glad we are one mind, honored colleagues. Well, meanwhile, um, a company will find keeps his valuables. I just don't want to be caught in prison. Just like it happened in the past. Okay, his paper's been uh, endorsed. Hurry up. Hmm. It's better than nothing, I guess. As I entered the laboratory one morning, I am met by agitated voices. Neophyte Lovro and Magus Coloman are gesturing wildly over a set of sketches. They are disagreeing on the direction of the project. Lovro argues for a riskier, but potentially more rewarding route, while well, Coloman wants to play it safe. Lovro's right, we must explore our limits. I go with the riskier, but more innovative, because I love taking risks. We'll close that episode as soon as whatever gets done first. The sun set hours ago and I can barely distinguish the details of the sketches in front of me. Everyone else has gone to bed, but I'm wide awake. The thoughts are spinning in my head faster and faster. There's something there, just outside the boundaries of consciousness. I almost have it. Eureka! I have the... Of which will greatly contribute to the project. Uh, brilliant insight. Okay, um, China as now has a new emperor. Latin Iberian cultures, but frowns upon Tibetan cultures. Well then, um, here is, again, this is diplomacy range. They can reach us, but they can't reach Italy. If only I had an Italian eunuch around here. Or anybody for that matter. Hey, you want one of these books I just kept on gathering big time? Like, oh, I don't know, something good. Well, anyways, just get all the armies here and we'll close the episode.
not up there yet. I'm finally certain. Absolutely certain. There are things I understand now that lie beyond the kin of normal women. If they knew, all if they knew, but it is the task of scholars such as me to keep and preserve such things in secret, lest all humanity go insane with the knowledge of its own insignificance. Uh, I shall be the devoted keeper of elder secrets. So now I'm a mystic. Just like what I attended in the first place. Yeah, I'm Kinslayan Mystic Scholar. The invention, the culmination of our great collaboration is finally finished. We are designed and constructing a genius device to measure angles in the sky. We call it the Radius Astronomicus. My charts of the stars will become infinitely better and easier to maintain thanks to our invention. The secrets of the heavens shall be unveiled. Let me see this thing. There it is. Radius Astronomicus. It's already activated. If you have a high enough skill. This staff with its slide dean cross piece and light markings is used to determine angles for the celestial measurements as well as navigating the seas. Even more learning skill. The proud count Isa. I don't know if that's a good idea if I wanted to be there. I mean, I'm kind of too old for this. No, no, no. <laughs> don't even think about it. <laughs> Look, when, once you reach the age of 45, you shouldn't be pregnant. Just wait for this guy to be in this county, then we'll close the episode. <laughs> so yeah, it's been quite an episode um, on this series. Um, quite an eventful episode. Um, so... <coughs> So we'll see you next time. Till then, so long for now.